right, boys, we're making a mobile jump today. Dude, I have PTSD driving this thing after the last time that I drove it. Come on, come on, come on! Go, go, go! Oh my God! Look, the whole frame is bent. We never really showed that. But after front flipping it, the entire frame is bent along with my spine. Hopefully it makes a better jump than it did a front flip rig. Yeah, it's safe to say it's never gonna be flipping again like that. I mean, no. we gotta dub the GoPro footage in. That shit was violent. Come on, come on, come on! Go, go, go! Yeah, yeah extremely violent. Don't need to do that again. All right, let's get this thing built. Is that enough trajectory, you think? I think so, yeah. So this is our buddy Spencer. He's the best dirt biker I know. Usually he's going over things like rocks and tires or uh, trees, but in today's instance, it's gonna be a mini truck. And probably a few other things. We'll see what we can find. <laughs> yeah, Spencer's actually the best enduro rider in the world. They, he keeps telling everybody here that I'm the best in the world. That's a big name to live up to. <laughs> Dude, for all we know, you are. All right, so just let's just roll with that. I'm Everyone on the internet, best enduro rider in the world. I'm gonna take that and run then. This was an expensive sheet of wood. Just gone, wasted before we could even use it. It's still usable for plenty of things, like burning. It was expensive fire then, Ev. Can't That's the price. only way you know how to do it, huh? <laughs> when Evan wants to have a campfire, he goes to the store. He goes to Menards and buys two by fours and two by eights and then starts burning them. I was just like, let's just slap some wood on there and drill it in, and this is like. It's a ramp. Big Ranch doesn't mess around. This is an actual ramp. This is a portable ramp. <laughs> Big Ranch is like, well, it's two pieces of wood screwed together, but yeah, I guess it's a ramp. This is some serious. Well, we got all of 20 minutes to do it. <laughs> all I gotta say is I am so glad that you're excited about the quality of this build. When, when Big Ranch finished up, we're both standing there scratching our head looking at it like, well, Pretty redneck, but it should do the trick. I don't even know if I want to hit it, it's that nice. <laughs> Man, these Canadians can appreciate the finer things. <laughs> well, this is probably the safest way to test out the jump. Jesus. We good? Let's hope this works. All right, Spence. Good luck, bro. I've seen this too. Oh my god! Oh Alright, I think it worked! That's a pretty hard landing. Yeah, it's like honestly just so unnecessary. I, it's so unnecessary. It's almost like we need something that we can jump onto. How's this look, Spence? I'd say maybe a couple more centimeters for it and it'll be good. A couple centimeters? Yeah. Damn Canadians. Can you, yeah. Yeah, can you say that to me in American? <laughs> what the fuck is a centimeter? I don't know, you guys keep talking about feet, but I only know like centimeters and meters. This was his idea. Yeah, this was his idea. I swear, Spence was made for these like weird hard enduro ideas though. <laughs> that was Let's so go. sick! Let's go! That a boy, Ev! Should I try to wheelie it? Yeah, that'd be sick. Amazing. Dude, I'm still shaking. I'm scared. <laughs> it's just but something I... about riding on another guy's limo. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this has got to be what? At least one of your top accomplishments in the sport, right? If I put this on my resume for next year, I might get some more sponsors. We 
should have reinforced the takeoff ramp, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that one was big. It feels very strange looking in the mirror and seeing a dirt bike coming at you. And then next thing you know, you're looking out the front window and seeing the rear end. I don't even need to go to California to free ride. I can just come out here and do it in the farm field. I actually don't think that you even need uh, freestyle ramps anymore. You just yeah. need a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way that inflatable is looking at me right now. Yeah? Looking at you funny? So like we said, oh, Spencer yeah. is a professional enduro cross racer. So like the dude's got the most bike control of anyone I've ever seen. That's why he can jump the mini truck and do everything that he's doing so well. Oh, but crazy. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to drive up Mike's inflatable. Do you want us to move it? This is actually like hard enduro simulation right here. It's kind of like a little yeah. bit of a rock section. Yeah, pretty much. Is this how you guys train? Well, I do got that big race coming up this weekend, so it's not going to hurt to get a little bit of training in before I go. Right. Yeah, I'd hate to have you go unprepared. Do you think it's going to work? No. Well, that's not... You're supposed to get me fired up, man. I'm supposed... I'm about to do a big stunt. This is honestly, I think, maybe the most dangerous thing yet. This thing, like, bounce you off the side. Anywho, run it. <laughs> Oh, is he good? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. What did I say? You're gonna bounce off the top. I'm not counting that as a crash because the bike's still standing up. <laughs> You're not doing that one again. I'm putting my foot down, dude. Yeah, alright. My yes, I'm sorry. First and show you the line, or do you think you got this? You better show me the line on this one. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. Did did you think I said line? I said wine. Oh. <laughs> All right, Spenny. If if you successfully clear these tractor tires, we'll even plug your Tinder profile. I actually got banned on Tinder, but just drop my number. In. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll put your number in the description. How do you get banned from Tinder, bro? I think I hit the match limit or something. Too many matches. <laughs> Me. Bet. Why night? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's why night, baby. Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers. Cheers. A beautiful to evening a, with the lads. To a beautiful wine night. Would you guys love some spaghetti? I believe on a wine night it's called pasta, but yes, I would okay. love some. <laughs> ah, magnificent. Oh, no, you gotta get a little more. Can I just you in a little garnish for the top? Absolutely. Tell me when to stop. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> no. One cup of tea. Cheers, lads, to a beautiful evening. <laughs> whoa, whoa! What the? <laughs> No, can no, no, no. Like a no. Toddler. <laughs> like it's a brand new white shirt. Sturdy <laughs> seller. Oh my gosh. Micah, I'm gonna take a drink of wine. Tell me a funny <laughs> joke. Where'd you learn to dance like that? Cheers, you wine. I just been living off of the bankroll. Had a saying goal. Got it flooded to my ankles. Need a rain. Been in my bag, got a satchel pack. Carry the weight, no fragile bag, back to cab. That's a fact. Even my cab was snap a fact. Me and my gang like rascal flats. Graduated like tassel hats. Back to back. I just ate a bank full. Had a saying go. Got it flooded to my ankles. Ate a bank full. Pair of boots and a dang bow. Got a stay flow. I'm sorry, I missed the glass. I'm so glad I'm the driver, dude.
I think the Why worst not? part of all of this is that it's 95 degrees in this limo right now. No airflow, absolutely no AC. I'm getting covered in wine and spaghetti and I'm not even on wine night. This is a fantastic wine night. <laughs> It smells of vomit, but I don't know if it's my vomit or the Parmesan cheese. Yeah. <laughs> it does, dude. It smells so bad. Honestly, it kind of smells like my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it does! I was wondering what that smell was. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. We have a gift on the house for you guys in the back. Uh, it is a bottle of our best champagne and a cake. Oh, the dessert is here! <laughs> Cheers, lads. Cheers. It's such a beautiful yeah, pop, pop, wine night. You better not. You better not. That's <laughs> in my retina. Take a <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, a little of the bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any more reds? <laughs> Are we really out of bottles right now? No, we're out of pocket, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> A successful wine night. <laughs> Time out. Ken's hat legitimately looks like it was colored, like a fade. <laughs> it but it's the red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm seeing stars right now. At least you can see. I have so much wine in my eyes, I can't even see my own toes. And I didn't I know our drivers were going to go rogue. Oh, a couple more, more happy right. customers. Right. So is the limo pretty toast then? I mean, good cleaning. Then it'll be good. We got to get out of here. What? What? <laughs> to think that wine night started out with a perfectly good limo. They said they wanted wine to go for a swim. I deliver. <laughs> That's coming out of your deposit. What was the plan there? I came up short. All I know is you two are up to something, and there could be like four to five options of who it involves. And I am one of those options. It's just a gift. I think Ev might hate surprises more than I do. Ev has trust issues now. As soon as he suspects something is up, he gets all spooked. All right, so, Evan? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You've been such a good kid lately. You made it through an entire video without breaking something, so we wanted to get you a little gift from myself and the rest of the boys. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm gonna regret the gift? <laughs> Open it up. I'm so, there's like a mouse trap in here. <laughs> Twisted tea back wax. <laughs> There's no way that this is gonna end at just the giving of the gift. And then we all go our own separate ways. You know, as, as excited as I was about the twisted tea part, there's only one place this is going. On your back or your chest? <laughs> I know you guys have always been disappointed that like I don't cry when you get me a gift. But this is probably the one. A little bit of context to the viewer. Ev loves tea. I don't even know if I want to plug yeah. them. We've tried to get Ev uh, an endorsement or even them to show a little bit of love to Evan for the last like three years. They haven't even acknowledged ours or his existence. So I hate to even give them the satisfaction of this, but I know you love them so much. And I saw this and I knew that you had to have it. God, you guys are just good at gifts. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm actually stressed. This is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna suck. Good enough? Well, maybe if we. Ah! Oh, that's oh, fucking oh, hot! Oh! oh look at this. Oh! You wanna wipe it? Get that smile off your face. <laughs> You're sick. The look of a sick man. <laughs> he wants to rub jelly all over his buddy so bad he pretends <laughs> to film a video about it. <laughs> this isn't even going live. You don't even have a tape in that camera. <laughs> Yeah, we put tapes in these. Hey, Mike, you want to go run and grab another VHS tape for this? We ran out of tape. You're pulling hairs just by smearing it. All right, Ken. Oh, that's a thick vein of hair right down the middle. Lay it in there, Ken. Ready? No. <laughs> didn't do it shit. Didn't even work. <laughs> it didn't even work. If the goal was for it to hurt, it worked great. Ready? No. 
Die! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sucks! Dude, no it's hair! It's the same spot! It's from your pole! Yeah, you got indestructible hair, bro! Oh. This is insane! Get out of here! <laughs> this is not gonna work! You can't yes, you it will. Get an esthetician in here or something, bro. I bet you would like that, huh? You can't keep doing the same spot. If you're gonna do it, at least do it right. This is just painful. You ready? No! <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh. What's going on here? They weren't they, meant to come out! This is some bad back wax. It's gonna look like a fucking rabid raccoon with my, half my fur. You ready? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh. Three hairs. I think that wax is just that shitty. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's a wrap, boys. <laughs> it, was, it was a nice one. It's no, not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to put it back on in the same spot. <laughs> No, no! <laughs> ah! oh. What? I was hanging with my legs over the edge of the table. My leg, it's pins and needles from my knees down. My leg just didn't work. <laughs> I must have been cutting the circulation off that whole time. But I was so stressed about what was going on, I didn't notice. <laughs>